Okay, this is going to be my second Fly With Me video. And just as a reminder, in these videos, I'm not really doing a tutorial or anything. I'm just kind of jumping into Orbiter and having a little bit of fun. Uh, this scenario is not one of the scenarios that comes with Orbiter. <clears throat> this is a, a save point where I went from the Earth to the Moon and I just saved once I got in orbit around the moon so all I'm going to do here fairly straightforward is I'm just gonna land at Brighton Beach when I was at the point of the mid-course correction back whenever I did this flight probably over a year ago I already lined up with the base so this will be pretty straightforward I just wanted to keep this fairly short so anyway let's uh, do what we got to do here and again, with these Fly With Me videos, I'm not necessarily going to explain each and everything I'm doing. This is just something to watch if you feel like it. Let's see, Brighton Beach. And we're going to land right away, so we only need one orbit. Shows my distances <clears throat> right there, so I don't have to worry about being off the base. And what else do I need? Bring up an external MFD. I don't really like switching back and forth, so I like to have several MFDs open at once. I actually have a second monitor where I usually keep these external MFDs, but if I do that, you can't see it in the video. And that would be the navigation for Brighton Beach. I believe I've already got that selected. Let me check. Spaceport. Brighton Beach. Yeah, 116.30. And then I should have these set to... Yeah. Okay, so we're good there. Alright, so all I need to do is warp time ahead till I'm closer to the base. And I think what I'm going to try to do here is get as close to the base as I can and then fire the main engines and try to basically slow down so that I'm right over top of the base. That's the plan. Let's see, I'm at 15 kilometers altitude. Okay, just going over everything in my head here. Alright, fast forwarding. Should get a signal when we're at about 500 kilometers from the base. Over here, and there it is. Right, let me slow down here for a moment. So I've kind of remember from past experience that you can get really close to the base before you really need to fire the retro engines. Let me just think about this for a moment. Getting into a heads up position. Okay. Just watching the distance of the base. We can get quite close, but here in just a moment we'll have to fire the main engines or else we'll overshoot the base. basically have to keep keep burning the main engines all the way to the point that I'm basically right over top. Vertical 
speed and be fine for a while. Horizontal speed is what I gotta watch. Pretty close to the base now, so I'm letting my want to keep some of this horizontal speed so I don't take forever to get there. Go ahead and open the retro doors now. Get a little bit of hover engines to offset this vertical sink. Rotate around so I'm facing the base. I'll probably switch to nav two now, yeah. And I am using the standard delta glider, so I don't have the help of a auto descent autopilot. Got to do all this manually. See how things are coming along. There's the base, we're descending. What I really want to do first is get centered over top of the landing pad, then I'll worry a little bit more about my vertical speed. Four hundred meters to go to the center of the pad. Two 
200 meters. That sucks, I overshot a little bit. I seem to always do that. Canceling out the last little bit of horizontal. Because I'm basically right over top of the pad now. Which we can see here in the external. So now I need to descend quickly but not too quickly, don't want to crash. Lower the landing gear. But I do want to get down quickly so I don't waste a lot of fuel. So I'll press A to turn off the auto hover. And just kind of let ourselves free fall here for a second. It's a little tricky going back and forth between the uh, zero and the period when you get really close. Concentrating. Twenty. Really close now. Ten. And now we can just let ourselves drop. There we are. Turn off the level. Done with this. Take a peek at the external. And there we are, dead center. And that's pretty much how I do all my uh, lunar landings. There are a couple of different ways to do it where you can use the velocity vector and put it right on the center of the pad and use that as your direction or use that as your indicator for getting there, but I actually find using the VOR, VTOL, MFD more useful. Okay, so that's that video. Not real exciting, but uh, trying to keep these fly with me is kind of short. So, see you next time.